Frankie gets to show off and Punk Hazard becomes the new Planet Namek. It's my review of One Piece episode 619. After seeing this episode of One Piece, it really makes me wish that Oda would do something involving robots. I just think it's really cool. He obviously has a fascination with them, and uh, Frankie this week I thought was awesome. He's one of those characters in the One Piece anime series that really doesn't get utilized as often as I think he should, and it's a shame because he's such an outlandish and crazy character, and they can do so much with him, and getting to finally see him fight this week against Buffalo and Baby Five was actually one of the highlights of the entire Punk Hazard arc, and probably one of my favorite parts. Even though it was very brief, but it was just so ridiculous and you really can't compare it to anything you've seen in the series because not only is Frankie fighting in this giant robot, he's like a robot within a robot, he's also fighting against uh, Buffalo and Baby Five and their abilities are in freaking sane. A couple episodes ago, I remember that Baby Five, like, actually was transforming parts of her body. She actually, uh, turned her hand into a gun, and I'm guessing that's because she may have eaten this devil fruit that gives her the ability to basically transform into any weapon, which is pretty damned awesome. But what's great about this is she's able to combine her ability with, uh, Buffalo, and apparently he can, like, make any part of his body into, like, a propeller, or, like, like, basically he turns into, like, a living airplane, any part of his body. And, uh, basically, Baby Five turns into a sword, and then he grabs the sword, and then starts swinging around and going after Frankie. It's really crazy and really frantic, but it's awesome because, uh, Frankie has, like, a giant sword that he's able to counter with, and, uh, she displays that she can really become any weapon. She turns into, like, this giant missile, which is really hilarious. It kind of reminds me of, uh, like, the Bullet Bills from uh, the Super Mario Brothers series. And it's funny because uh, even little touches, like she still has the cigarette in her mouth when she's transformed. It's really hilarious. The battle itself, unfortunately, sort of ends on a little bit of a cliffhanger. We don't get to see the end of it. And that's a shame because it was really awesome. But still, the second half of the episode was a lot of tension building and we get to see there's going to be a few plot twists to the end of the Punk Hazard arc, which I think is really cool. And, uh, you know, it, the island itself was already, you know, tearing down and exploding already. So let's just make things 10 times worse. Uh, we find out that actually Monet is still alive, and this is something that is really interesting, because she got really messed up by Zoro, but, uh, you can actually see she made her way to this, like, secret room, there's, like, blood trailing on the ground, and she gets a hold of, uh, Dolphamingo, and she's trying to talk to him and figure out what's going on. He informs her that pretty much everybody's been defeated, Buffalo and Baby Five have arrived to sort of clean things up a little, and that, uh, Dolphamingo is going to need Monet to blow the damn island up with this other secret weapon. She's more than happy to oblige as well. She seems to be very loyal to uh, Doflamingo, and it, it's really strange here. This whole scene, just getting to see Doflamingo, like, in his room in the dark and everything, getting to see his reactions, you know, it, it almost seems like he's kind of upset by all of this. But at the same time, when all of this is going on, you see he's still got that big shit-eating grin on his face, and that just is what makes him such a compelling and interesting villain. I cannot wait to learn a little bit more about his character, but throughout the rest of the episode, like I said, all the people are making their way to the middle of Punk Hazard, all the Straw Hat Pirates are there, everybody's gonna be good. Uh, one thing that is really messed up and interesting, and I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen because of this, uh, Caesar Clown found, like, the heart of Smoker, and apparently he's about to, like, stab it, and, like, kill him, and they didn't really follow up on it too much in this episode, it's what's sort of happening at the end, as Monet is setting off this bomb, Caesar Clown is about to stab this heart, everything is about to go to hell, so Smoker's about to die, which, I mean, you're not gonna be able to survive getting stabbed in the heart, that's gonna be really messed up, and then they're gonna have to deal with this giant explosion that's going on, so, even though, like, there's light at the end of the tunnel, this is gonna be one hell of a wild ride at the end. Uh, but still, this was a great episode of One Piece. Uh, just so many really good moments. Frankie. God, I love Frankie. He's just such a cool character. I really wish they could have focused more on his fight and maybe give him uh, more badass moments because he is definitely a goofy character as well, and he definitely displayed that a lot this week. I did like the humor, like when he threw like his shoulder pad like a boomerang. I thought that was very funny. But uh, still, I still think he needs to have like his big moment. He's definitely had some cool moments in the series, but I want there to be like that one signature Frankie moment that everybody remembers. Uh, but still, I'm just a Frankie fan. I like robots. I like Gundam. That's probably why. Uh, but still... Uh, I love the tension at the end. I love the fact that even though they're about to escape, things are about to get way, way worse. It, it, they really can't catch a break in this arc. Uh, but still, I can't wait to see what's going to result of this. And uh, I don't want Smoker to die. That's going to be really, really messed up. I hope something stops Caesar from, like, stabbing the heart. That's really bothering me, actually, a lot now that I think about it. And uh, there was also another scene that was really cool. Like with uh, Doflamingo when he was uh, not only talking to Monet, he was also talking to Virgo and explaining like, man, you were with me the longest, dog. I'm going to miss you, brah. Like, I don't know. Something about that scene is you can actually see that even though he's like a shit-eating bastard, 
Dolph Flamingo is also like has a little bit of respect for his crew members, and he does care about them a little bit. And uh, Buffalo and Baby Five, I mean, come on, they're just they're hilarious. They transform into weapons and shit. You know, just <laughs> really really funny stuff. That combined with Frankie just made for an entertaining episode. So. My only complaint is some of the parts of the episode were a little slow, so I'm just going to bump this one down to a 9. But otherwise, this was an exciting episode of One Piece that I really enjoyed that had a lot of really cool, funny action moments, and that tension at the end is perfect. And One Piece is just showing again why it's like the king of the to-be-continued screen. So uh, there it is, 9 out of 10. Check it out, guys. So if you guys had a chance to check out this week's episode of One Piece, how did you feel about it? Did you have any favorite moments? Did you like seeing the battle between the Frankie robot, Buffalo, and Baby 5? You can let me know with your comments below. And remember, guys, before you leave, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. It is absolutely one of the best ways to support our videos. That and maybe you could check out some of the other videos that we got right up top. Check them out. Thumbs up. You know the deal, guys. So... I will see you next time. Super Kami Guru 9000. Out.